Okay, guys. So tonight we're going to talk a little bit about uh, a microscope camera, Amscope MU503. The Amscope MU503 is a 5 megapixel USB 3 camera uh, that says that it's capable of producing real time live video from your microscope. Now, I bought this camera uh, all well knowing the specs of it, and um, I can't really say that I did too much research of it. <clears throat> and it's partially my fault that I'm not satisfied with it. First of all, the specs here are clearly visible on the Amscope uh, homepage. It says that it's a Aptina MT9P006 CMOS sensor. That is not the greatest sensor out there. It has a resolution of 2560 by 1922 pixels, which gives you approximately uh, five megapixels. Um, the next thing that you want to take a look at is the frame rate. Um, it says that it's capable of doing 39 FPS at 1280 by 960 or 14.5 at 2560 by 1922, which is the full resolution. Or you can tweak it down to 640 by 480 and get a whopping 101 FPS out of it. Now, that's not the entire story. And this is where it gets disappointing. To get a decent uh, image out of this camera, um, you need to compensate for the fact that the sensor, quite honestly, it, it sucks. It, it's pretty poor. Um, so even when you crank up the light and uh, all of that, you still have to adjust the exposure. And as soon as you increase the exposure time, uh, your frame rate obviously drops. So basically this camera can't really keep up if, if you don't have the sun next to it. Uh, let me switch over to my microscope here, which is set up uh, with a view of a, of a little circuit board I have here. So this is typically what I use, and this is using one of the ring lights from Amscope with 144 LEDs on it, turned all the way up, and then some additional lighting that, you know, just adds more light to, to make the picture better. Um, and even with that, you can see that the picture is kind of dark. And the reason for that is that if I turn up the exposure to give a better quality image, my frame rate drops below 30 FPS, which is typically what I stream at, and that is the recording that you're looking at right now. Right now, uh, the camera is producing 36.7 FPS, which is fine. Um, but, well, I should say it would be fine if this image was good enough, but it's not. Here's the killer. Let me zoom in uh, so that you can take a closer look at the image. See all this noise that's going on in the image? Uh, if you look at it closely, you can see that it's all just jittery. There, there's a lot of background now's noise in this image. And this is what you get from this sensor. Now, the problem here is that since the sensor is uh, pretty poor, you have to have a lot of light. And even if you have a lot of light, it's not enough. So you have to turn up uh, the, the gain and when you turn up the gain, you, you don't only amplify the actual uh, pixels that you want, you also amplify the background noise coming from the sensor, and that gives you that noise image. This is just like poor uh, sensors in DSLRs. Uh, until Nikon came out with their super nice uh, cameras with high uh, ISO modes, where you can't really tell that you cranked up the ISO. Um, you know, you couldn't do that because you got a lot of background noise in your images. We have the exact same problem here. This is just a crappy sensor and it gives you crappy output. Now, I bought this camera to do some uh, streaming on Twitch and so on. So maybe it's not the most important thing in the world, but it really annoys me that when I look at the image on screen on my computer where it's uncompressed and everything, well, as uncompressed as it can be over USB 3. Um, <clears throat> I can tell the whole image is just creeping on me and, and I can't stand that. So this camera is going out the window as soon as I can find a decent replacement. Um, the conclusion that I've come to is that USB based cameras are just crap and you should stay away from them as far away as you can from them actually. 
And what you need to look at is a camera with HDMI output and use a capture card to capture that. Uh, good examples of how it should look is if you go look at Lewis Rossman on YouTube. He is using um, a really nice camera that unfortunately doesn't exist anymore. He recommends another one, but I haven't found anyone who's actually using it. So I don't know. Um, but the one he uses is HDMI output. It's captured and it looks beautiful. You can then go look at Chris Long, who uses uh, the MU1403, I believe. Uh, if I remember correctly, he told me the other day that he is using a 14 megapixel version of the same camera that I have. And he has the same issue with background noise. It just looks horrible, really, compared to what Lewis puts out. So there you have it. Uh, this is the Amscope MU503 camera. I'm not very happy with it. It does its job, basically. It's probably fine for still images, uh, but for video, no. Oh, I didn't even mention. Um, of course, this is recorded at 1280 by 960, since I want to have over 30 FPS from the camera. Uh, if you crank it up, you're going to get a lot worse um, frame rate than, than stated. I typically end up at about... I don't know, eight or nine FPS, which is not good enough. So forget the high resolution unless you're taking pictures and um, yeah, go find yourself an HDMI camera. Um, thanks for watching.